What's going on guys? Today we're talking about removing glare from glasses. Stay tuned. Now I've scoured the web looking for tutorials and help on how to remove glare from glasses. It's one of the biggest problems I run into as a portrait photographer in the studio. Using big lights produces a big soft light source. However, it often results in a lot of glare in the glasses. Now you'll see some people say that you can make a selection around the glare and darken it in Photoshop. Some people say you can raise your lights really high, which will work. However, I really don't want somebody's glasses dictating how I light my subjects in the studio. You can also tell people to take their glasses and wear them like this and they won't be as reflective, but you can imagine how confident somebody would be with their glasses like that. And then every time they look at the picture, all they're gonna think about is how dumb they look. Well, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you my way of fixing glare in glasses. It's not the easiest way, but I think it's probably the best way. Okay, so here we are in Camera Raw, and the best way to do this is to take one photo of the person with their glasses on, one photo with their glasses off. And what this allows you to do is merge the two photos together and use the good eyes from the no glasses picture and put them in the bad picture. So here's our subject, one picture with glasses on, one picture with glasses off. And it's really important that you keep the same facial expression so that their eyes look the same in both pictures. Now, I always tell the model or the subject to stay very still, and I always have an assistant take their glasses off. Because as soon as you tell them to take their glasses off, they bend down, they hand their glasses to their mother, and then they sit down again, and then their face is completely different, their hair is completely different. So I always take the picture, have the person stay as still as possible, and then take the picture without the glasses. All right, so we're in camera raw. We're gonna select both images. I'm just gonna brighten the exposure a little bit. Maybe turn down the highlights, increase the shadows a little bit, and let's open our images. Okay, we have both images open, and what we're gonna do is copy her eyes by hitting Command C and coming over to our main image and hitting paste. So our eyes are on one layer and our main picture is on the bottom layer. Now, I typically like to do one eye at a time. So what I'm gonna do is drag a box over one eye, hit copy, then I'm gonna turn that layer off with our eyes. Now I'll hit paste and let's just work on this left eye. I'm gonna zoom way in and I'm gonna turn the opacity down on the top layer. Now you can clearly see that our eyes don't line up. So what I try to do is get the catch light in the eye to line up and then the eye will be pretty close. So now the catch light has lined up, perfect. Now I'll turn the opacity back up to 100%. I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option and click the layer mask icon. Now with a white brush, I'm gonna come in and Make sure our opacity is at 100%, flow is at 100%. With a nice soft brush, I'm going to paint away the reflections. Now, if you completely paint away all of the reflections, then it looks like the person is wearing glasses without any glass in them. So it's important to keep a little bit of the reflection if you can. Like down here at the bottom, this little line I'm gonna keep but at the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and erase most of this. And there we go, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna come back to our eyes layer and copy the right eye, her left eye. Turn the layer off and I'll hit paste again. Now turn the opacity way down and let's align the eyes. So I'm just looking at the catch light. When the catch lights line up, you'll know that the eye is fairly close. And it doesn't have to be exact, but the subject keeping their head still will definitely help. Now I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option, click on the layer mask icon, 
Now I'm going to brush out the reflections using a white brush painting on the layer mask. On this side of her glasses, I'm gonna keep some of that glare so that it looks like she really has lenses. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna reduce the opacity and paint on that edge just to take out some of the glare there. Maybe take out a little bit more on the other eye down at the bottom. And that looks pretty good. Now I like to zoom out so you can see what the eyes look like in context. Sometimes zoomed in, you think it looks good and then you zoom out and it looks like an alien. So make sure you zoom out and zoom in to check how the eyes look. So this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna merge these two eye layers and I'm gonna delete our good eye layer that we used to copy from. Okay, now we're gonna add a black and white layer on top of our image just to make sure that the eye brightness is the same as the skin brightness in our original image. So I'm gonna come up to black and white layer, click that, and we can see that the eyes are usually gonna be a little bit brighter than they were with the glasses picture because the lenses actually cut out some of the light. So I'm gonna make a new curves adjustment layer Hold down Alter Option and make a clipping mask to our new eyes. And then I'm going to bring down the brightness just a little bit. There we go. Let's turn off our black and white adjustment layer. Now we don't want the curves layer to adjust any of the color. We simply want it to adjust the brightness of the eyes. So we're gonna select our blend mode as luminosity. So there we go, here's before and after, and I think that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is add an additional curves layer. And with this one, I'm going to also clip it to our good eyes. And I'm just gonna raise up the black point in the eyes to make it really look like there are lenses in there. So here is without that layer, and here's with. And again, I just raised the very darkest point on our curves adjustment layer. And there we go. That's the best way I know of to replace blazing glare in people's glasses. If you have any questions, drop them below. Please like and subscribe if you learned something new today. Now I'm gonna to retouch this image and we'll show you a before and after.